Hey Aries and welcome to my channel. Um, today I am doing your January 2019 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aries singles. So this is either uh, super single, ready to mingle, just recently out of a relationship in between, um, waiting on somebody. If you are currently um, in between though, I do suggest you watch both the couples and the singles as messages go back and forth oftentimes. So let's see what our Aries singles have for January 2019. Aries singles. All right. Your first card out is the King of Pentacles and the Tower in Reverse. The Seven of Cups. Oh my goodness. Off my deck now. Okay, the outcome, four of wands in reverse, the two of cups in reverse, and the princess of cups. Your energy and bottom of the deck is the four of cups in reverse, not seeing the blessing in what is going on, um, clarified by the king of wands and the death card. Okay, so you're coming to the end of a major life cycle. New love is on the way for you guys. Um, first of all, I want to go over your bottom of the deck energy because it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. So um, you guys aren't seeing the gift in what this relationship has taught you, what it has brought you, um, the lessons you have learned, the... Uh, the energy that is now surrounding you, you're just focusing on what is lost, what is not there, who's not filling your cup, what's not filling your cup, and you're not seeing that the universe is right behind you offering you a cup of a lifetime. The It's a way bigger cup than the other three. It's filled, it's sparkly, it's pretty, and it's just for you. Um, it's time to open your eyes to uh, the situation and realize that in every um, situation in life, there is a blessing and a lesson. So, um, this is teaching you a hard lesson most definitely, but it is also trying to give you a blessing. Uh, that blessing is a spiritual rebirth. Um, with the death card, this is you shedding the old, allowing the new to come in. This is you, um, purging and releasing anything in your life that doesn't serve you, um, including the person that made you feel this way. This is somebody who's put you in a wait. You are waiting. Um, it's time to release. It's time to let go. It's time to take your stand as the queen of wands, the beautiful individual that you are, whether you're male or female. This is someone who's confident. This is somebody that's sought after. This is somebody that is passionate, um, loves life, loves friends, family, fun, and looks great doing it. Uh, so go ahead and release and purge what energy is not um, serving your greatest good right now because you're having a spiritual rebirth and you are going to ascend to a higher level um, of knowing, a higher level of consciousness, um, and you're going to rise above all the people who doubted you is what I'm just saying, and you are going to take your uh, place on the throne, uh, whether it be with somebody else or alone. You're looking great. You're drawing a lot of attention in a positive way. Um, you are releasing things that no longer serve you. And it's just a beautiful energy to have as an overall energy. Um, you're finding yourself again. This person, uh, they caused you to be lost, lost in this world, confused, continuously waiting, not knowing what was next, not knowing what was coming for you, not knowing if it was over, if you should let go, if you should hold on. This person constantly put you in this position and you're finding yourself again after you purge their energy out of your space because it's not serving you any damn good. Um, being in separation anyways. So you are finding who you are again, finding your confidence, your um, self-esteem, your self-worth. You are realizing that you are a wonderful person, a great catch, and you will, by the end of January, be vibrating at a very high level, which then will attract new love and for you guys. 
So your energy um, right now, it's kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie. You're feeling uh, pretty down and out. Uh, or earth sign could have caused this. Um, but it's somebody that you counted on. Somebody that you felt uh, was going to give you the life that you wanted. You are finding stability, however. You are finding your own way. You are finding... Um, your finances are getting figured out. You're working towards um, grounding again, finding your center. Um, it's taking a lot because this person really shook you up. This person uh, pretty much threw you out of the tower, it feels like. Um, and this was really hard for you. This is somebody you trusted yeah, to give you the two of cups dream, to be that soulmate, that person that you counted on. But it did come out in reverse with the tower. So this is heartbreaking. This is somebody that you trusted to um to give your cup to and it ended up in a tower moment they it seems like they kept you confused they kept you um not knowing what was going on they weren't telling you anything um they kept telling you lies to keep you there waiting this is also though you guys have a lot of options you guys have a lot of people that would love to be with this person so um yeah, try not to be down because there is somebody important and your soulmate, your life partner coming in for you with the seventh house, the seventh cup. This is your life partner um, that will be that will be entering your life very soon, whether it is re-entering your life or entering your life. But either way, it's going to be uh yeah, it's going to be somebody that you will spend the rest of your life with. But not until you purge and release the energy of this past relationship, the hurt that this caused, the tower moment that needs healed from, once you purge and release from that, that is when your soulmate will either come back or um, you will meet them. But you're holding off ending this cycle. You're afraid that if you put this uh, relationship to rest, if you don't defend this relationship with all you got, that, that it won't come back. But the truth is, wow, the seven of wands out twice, very defensive. This person could be very defensive or you are defending this relationship still. But the truth of the matter is uh, once you release it, that is when they will come back. They will not come back to this relationship in the energy that it left in or um, in the energy that it currently is in. You are meant to be, you are meant to go through this rebirth. You're meant to go through this purging process and um, come in as a higher vibration and they will match that vibration and come back if this is somebody you're waiting on. If you're not waiting on anyone, I'm a, sorry, hold on. If you're not waiting on anybody, um, then uh, your new person will come in. But you have to release this burden. You have to quit defending this, um, this broken, heavy relationship that you're carrying around um, because you won't bring anything positive in or you won't bring in a new relationship in holding on to that energy. Um, like I said, you're being very defensive with the seven of wands. You feel you have to defend what you've earned. You feel, um, they could be trying to, uh, take money from you, but there's something around finances that you feel you have to, um, defend. But what you're fighting for is a balanced relationship an equal give and take from, um, an earth sign, a water sign. Scorpio is here. Yeah fire they're all here actually everybody but air so um if you are separated from anybody but air yeah so anyways you are fighting for balance you are fighting to regain your balance you're fighting for them to offer you as much as you're offering them but you can't make them offer you as much as you're offering them because there's somebody else in their space that they have not gotten rid of yet and you're feeling trapped by this. You're feeling like you can't move forward. You can't move on. Um, yeah, even though uh, even though there is love coming in for you, even though I'm telling you, once you move forward, this will come. This energy will come back in, um, come in for you. You're still feeling trapped by the situation. The the thought of if I let go, what if they don't come back? At least right now, I'm grasping for whatever I can get from them. If I let go completely. What if they never return? Well, then they weren't meant for you and your true soulmate will come in for you. But right now, this can't this can't happen because there's not a stable foundation. For those of you who do not want to go back to that person you just broke up from, you need to uh, have this spiritual rebirth. You need to heal in order for you to build a solid foundation with somebody new. 
uh, this person completely drained your energy. You were giving far too much more than what they were giving you. There's a four of wands here. This one? Yeah. This can't be, this can't um, happen until you heal from this tower. That's the second time the tower has come out. You have to um, break down to ground zero and rebuild your foundation with somebody in order for it to be stable. You can't build a solid foundation on rocky ground. Um, this person, you felt left out by this person. You felt like they uh, kept you up out of the loop on purpose. They didn't let you know what was going on with somebody else. They kept you constantly confused and you really felt like they abandoned you. They, they hurt you in, in the most horrible way. Um, they were intentionally keeping you in the dark. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a princess of cups here. Yeah. You offered them their cup, your cup, you offered them your love and all they offered you was deceit and betrayal with the seven of swords. Um, this person snuck away in the dark. They could have uh, left and, and didn't say a word, but this person brought a lot of deceit to this relationship. But once you release this, yep. All right. Once you release this energy of the three of cups, this is the page of cups, but for me, it's always a third party because there's three of them and two of them are grasping for the cups. So they're not offering you enough right now. They're not offering you, so for some of you, they're not offering you anything because you're single. But once you uh, no longer allow this self-doubt and this talking in your head, this inner conflict about whether to let go or not, once you let go and let your heart heal, from this heartbreak that this person caused, from this deceit, from this uh, energy of constant confusion. Once you get through that, you purge, you uh, you shed the old you, you allow the spiritual rebirth to come in. This is what is coming for you. Your possible earth sign, but could be any sign, um, is coming forward very slow, but they're coming forward and they're going to make you an offer and it's going to be real, but you have to heal. And when they come forward making this offer, you will have new love, new passion with this person. For a lot of you, this is the person that you are in separation from, but you have to move forward. You have to heal. You have to begin that process. And then, and then they will return. For those of you who are not wanting um, a person of your past, once you heal, once you move forward, once you allow yourself to move past this tower energy, this deceitful energy, um, then you will have new love coming in for you as well. There's new love coming for, for all of you, whether it be an old person or a new person, you all have, um, an opportunity of love in January. If you heal from what you just got out of, what do you have for our Aries singles? Okay. Let's get one more. All right. So you guys have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your family, not necessarily parents, but this is family in general um, is what I am seeing. For some of you, it is parents. You come from a very, uh, I don't want to say dysfunctional, but uh, you didn't have a normal upbringing. Your parents could have been in and out of your life. Uh, they could have had alcohol issues. There's a lot of different issues I'm seeing. It's time to heal from those issues um, because as you know, on the, on the journey, if you are part of it, um, you have to heal from all your hurts this lifetime or past as well as childhood hurts. If you um, are not on the uh, journey with the twin flame, then um, this is still important because you don't want to project your hurts onto your next relationship. Um, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to happen naturally. Um, you can't rush somebody to come back. You cannot rush through the healing process. Um, you just can't rush it. And let your friends help. Ask for, uh, for and accept the support of others. This is the help of your angels, the help of your spirit guides, the help of source, as well as those uh, friends here on earth. Um, let your friends help you. You're going through a difficult time. You have a lot of energy to heal from. Uh, you have a lot of things to let go of. And a spiritual rebirth is not easy. So um, do not be hard on yourself. If it's, if it's taking you longer than what you thought, or you're having problems getting through some things, reach out to your friends, allow them to help you. 
All right, let's get one from the Sacred Traveler for our Aries single for January 2019. Which, watching clouds, lay back, rest, relax, and recuperate. So in this time of being single, enjoy life. Um, continue to work on healing, recuperating, rejuvenating your soul. Um, but most importantly, lay back and rest. Take a breather. Uh, things are going to get better. Things are going to move forward. Um, you just have to allow your mind, body, and soul to uh, recover, to rest up a little bit, and uh, to be ready for your new cycle in love. So... I wish you guys all the best. I hope you have a beautiful January and a happy 2019 ahead for you. I will see you next time. For those of you who ordered a reading from me in the last couple weeks, I have been sick for the last week, or I was sick last week, so I am a week behind. Um, I do apologize. I'm hoping to have them all out by Thursday that have ordered in the last two weeks if you have not received them. If you do not want to wait two days, or actually today's Wednesday, if you don't want to wait till tomorrow to get it, um, and want a refund, please request a refund through PayPal. Do not open an open claim case because then they uh, freeze my account and to uh, wait for me to respond. And it just, it freezes up everything and I can't give you a refund right away. If you request a refund from me, I can give it to you that day and it's done and over with. Um, so please request a refund from me. Do not open a claims case um, if you would, please. Also, uh, Oh, there's something else I was going to say. Oh, if you email me, I get anywhere from, I'm not even exaggerating. Sometimes I get anywhere from 200 to 300 emails a day. Um, if you have ordered from me, please, uh, I will get to your email eventually. Uh, if you, cause I go from the bottom up, I answer them from the oldest to the newest. That way the people who have been waiting the longest get, uh, their email answered first. So if you email me, it bumps you back up to the top of the list. So those of you who are emailing me repeatedly that not knowing where your reading is, it's because I have not gotten to you because you keep emailing me and it keeps putting your name up to the top of the list. So please, if you've emailed me your questions, you have paid, please be patient with me. I am only one person. I can only get to so many a day, but um, that keeps your place in line. When you uh, keep re uh, emailing me, I it just keeps bringing you to the front, and um, I chances are I will not get to it um, for a couple of days. Well, then if in a couple before a couple of days is up, if you re email me again, it puts you up to the top of the list. I get anywhere from um, at least a thousand emails a week, so please be patient. I you know a lot of them are not orders, so I just have to uh, go through them. You know, make sure they're not orders. But if you keep um, emailing me, uh, then it keeps bumping you to the top of the list and I don't get to you in your um, time that you deserve. So um, once you've emailed me your questions and um, and have paid the through PayPal, please be patient. I will get to you. I promise. If I don't get to you in the time that is allotted, please request a refund if you don't want to wait any longer. OK, thank you so much for letting me lab that all out. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, I'll probably put out a, a PSA later um, because I'm, I just realized that this is happening. So I just wanted to put that out to you two guys. I don't want you to worry. Um, I will get to you um, in due time. I didn't plan on being sick, but I was. So now I'm about a week behind. So thank you for your patience, your understanding. God bless you. Um, you have made my life uh, so much better and my spiritual journey so much more exciting. Um, and I ask you to please be patient and understanding and continue to walk this journey with me. God bless.